role of documentation, uh, well documentation serves many roles. One of them is to make children's learning visible. Um, I think in our national quality framework, um, the phrase that encapsulates that is um, showing a child's distance travelled. So documentation is about showing children's learning from one point in time to another point in time. It's a tool for professional learning um, because when you look back at documentation, um, you actually can see how much you've actually grown as a documentor. It shows the traces of children's learning. I think it was seeing children in a new light and it was also seeing myself differently. I think I'd been doing a lot to children rather than a, a, alongside children. I remember one particular moment in that conference when someone from the audience asked, what is it that you do about superheroes, you know, about, um, what was it at the time, Ninja Turtles. And I was sitting there with my chest puffed out thinking, ha, huh, I'm okay, you know, I, I ban them too, you know. And um, I remember Carlina Rinaldi saying, well, we would ask and wonder, why does this matter to children? And I remember just feeling all unravelled, thinking, I've never thought to ask why this matters or wonder why this matters. And I walked away from that conference thinking, I don't think about the why. You know, why are children drawn to certain things? I'm so busy organising for children, delivering curriculum to children, not thinking about making meaningful contexts for children to, to explore, create um, and make meaning. So it really unravelled me. I remember feeling all topsy-turvy, but it was a very significant moment for me because it, I think it transformed my identity, my professional identity, it was the beginning of the journey of transformation for me from a deliverer, a transmitter of t knowledge to a researcher. Research has been embedded in my every day, every day. Um, I've been able to look at every day with, with new opportunities and new possibilities. You can't take this journey on your own. You actually need to bring people to work with you. Um, and it's the, the feeding off each other that's really been inspiring. Um, having a vision is important, knowing where you want to go. Um, and I think it's not about reaching a destination, it's actually about building understanding in order to progress. So um, it's hard to know what the measures are, but for me, it's been driven by wanting to go deeper and deeper and deeper. Whilst it was really um, a focus for me to make a beautiful environment for the children, it was how do I develop a thinking space for these capable children so they can test their ideas out and they can work collaboratively in small groups, in large groups or individually with educators. Um, so to have enough intelligent materials in the classroom um, because these intelligent and capable children deserve those. Another really big thing is relationships, um, that building and that connecting of relationships and that importance um, for me um, and, and my team that I work with of, of um, connecting with the children and the families and getting to know them so deeply um, and getting to know them as individuals and then how those individuals work in, in, a, in a learning community. I'm working with families, I've come to understand that there's a really big difference between families being involved in your service, involved in your practice, involved with their children, comparative to being engaged, comparative to being contributors and um, being actual active participants. Um, there's some really big differences for us. I think for teachers and services that would like to engage their families and are seeking for that, I would say listen to them. I would say make yourself available and understand that if you really are true to that, you're actually a community of learners. And so the teacher doesn't need to be and shouldn't be, in fact isn't, um, the holder of all the knowledge. These parents know their children well and they help us to understand their children well for our context. Our responsibility is to work with their children in our space and share what we know from that context and draw in what the families can offer us. And I think children feel that their sense of identity, their sense of place and belonging to the centre and to the relationships within it are informed and enhanced when they see their teachers and parents and families working together. I think the biggest thing for me was actually thinking about 
um, challenging the dominant discourse. I think it was about thinking about teaching and learning differently, but not just about teaching and learning, but about how we construct knowledge. I think that's been the biggest thing because I, I think previously I saw knowledge as something that was um, something that you delivered, that, uh, that it was my role to be the sage on the stage, the imparter of the knowledge. And how that's changed, I think, is actually to see that knowledge is actually a process of co-construction and happens in relation. And so the ideas of Red Show have exposed me to this idea of the pedagogy of relationships and how important that is. Um, and to, do, to, to really be involved in that pedagogy of relationships, you need that pedagogy of listening as well. You can't, you can't engage in with that relationship with others if you're not truly listening to others. People in the beginning find it really difficult to know how to apply the principles and practices of Rego to the very youngest of our citizens. Um, I think that it's very hard for them to move past the dominant discourse of um, providing toys and resources for children to keep them busy, uh, the very young children to keep them busy. Thinking about the transformative effect that materials can have on children's learning whilst at the same time children are transforming the materials. I think that this kind of thinking, this kind of pedagogy, this kind of practice um, is really inspirational um, and it should, be, it should be something that we are really helping the educators of our, our youngest children um, to perhaps you know, think more about. We need to provoke them with these ideas. We need to challenge them. Um, with the dominant discourse of pedagogy for, for babies. I think one of the things that you really notice uh, when working with these ideas is that the children um, see themselves as partners in learning with you. It's about co-construction of knowledge. It's not about um, one idea necessarily being more important than another idea. It's this idea of contaminating each other with different ideas, about borrowing knowledge, about um, growing together rather than seeing it as a, as a um, disconnected way of knowing and learning. It's about interconnected ways of knowing and, and not seeing disciplines as being separated but seeing them as, as um, connected and seeing that there are many, many ways to represent our thinking and our ideas, not just one way.